Hi there. Today we want to talk about how to have your daily quiet time with God. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing how I do mine. I'm going to be sharing my own personal quiet time routine with you. Now, this video is not to tell you what or what not to do. This video is not to give you some sort of a commandment or something. It is actually to share my personal experiences with you in the hope that you will learn one or two things from my own personal experiences, from my own work with God and implement it in yours to help you have a richer and a better time with God. First, let me share a little background story with you of how I started out having my own quiet time. Now, I grew up, of course, in a Christian home. We do family devotions, but I wasn't having my quiet time up until I got into the higher institution. Now, when I got into the higher institution, of course, I continued with my morning prayers. That's what I will call it. I'll have my morning prayers. Sometimes I read the word of God. Sometimes I don't. I just pray get up, dress up and go to school or go to um, church as the case may be. And then along the line, I rededicated my life to Christ. And of course, it was this hunger to know God for, you know, this serious hunger for intimacy with God. And I began to um, study the word of God the way I knew how to do. Now, what I was doing then was I would take my church jotter, you know, the jotter that I take to church and jot messages sermons sunday sermons and the weekly activity sermons so i will take it and i will use those jottings the things that i wrote down to do my prayers right i will re read through and then i will pray that was what i was doing then and then i remember that i've been told i've heard somewhere that is good to have a book where you write down the things that uh, you learn as you do your quiet time. So I got a book and I'll just do that. But I was struggling, right? I was struggling with um, hearing from God and all that. And so one day I went to school, I went to class and while I was just standing at the at the front of my classroom, one of my cosmates just walked up to me and he was like, hello, Lisbeth. I was like, hi. So we, we were just talking. And then he asked me, do you do quiet time? I said, yeah, yes, I do. He said, how do you do your quiet time? And I was like, hmm, what kind of question is this? But I was like, okay, fine. So I told him what I do. This is what I do. I pray. I use my jottings in church, you know, from um, Sunday sermons to just read through it. And he was like, okay, that's good. And he promised me that he was going to come with his own personal quiet time booklet. And that he was going to show me how he does here so that I can have a better idea on how to do it right so the following day he came to school with his own he showed me what he does how he does his own in fact he showed me his own quiet time routine and guys i was blessed yes i felt so happy i was i felt so lucky i was like god you really knew i needed this right and that's one thing with your work with god god knows what you need by time and he will bring it your way so take this video as god bringing it your way to actually have a richer and a better time with him right so after he showed me his own routine and he told me to go ahead and do uh and implement uh, what he has taught me. I went home and of course I started out doing practically exactly what he taught me, right? I'll follow his routine exactly the way he does it. And as I started with time, things began to change. It became, I started personalizing it to become my own routine because this is a work with God, right? So with time, it was no longer a strict routine. I wasn't following exactly what he showed me. I developed mine. And since then, it has changed from time to time. Now, usually a routine is a standard way of doing a thing. Like, this is how I do it. And this is how I do it. You don't change it. So, but when it comes to quiet time, um, it can change. This is a walk with God. The Holy Spirit is in charge here. He directs. So sometimes you can wake up and you follow a particular routine. Another day you can wake up and you could decide to just sit in silence, pray and hear God speak. Sometimes it could start off with worship. So the routine could shift a bit, but there are certain things that will remain common whichever way it goes. 
and one the most important element of a quiet time i would say is you um, sitting quietly to hear from god remember that the goal of having a quiet time is to build intimacy with god so what the most important aspect of your quiet time is that moment when you talk to god and you sit in silence to hear from him you have to hear from god is a two-way communication is not a one-way communication again the ultimate goal of having a quiet time is building intimacy with god and if we are not doing this then the purpose of having a quiet time is defeated that being said how do i have my own quiet time what is my own quiet time routine i know many of you are waiting to hear what i'm gonna say now if you listen to my story carefully you would have heard when i said that my routine changes from time to time usually i love to have my quiet time in the early hours of the morning i prefer that time for me it's like the best time Ever. Even though I'm not a morning person, because like, sometimes I wake up and I have to struggle with still feeling sleepy and not being able uh, to concentrate because of sleep, right? But I still prefer that morning hour because when I wake up, I try as much as possible, maybe brush my teeth and do one or two things, you know, just to get the sleep out of my eyes and then I settle down to do my quiet time. Now, when I wake up early hours of the morning, I have peace and quiet everywhere is peace where everywhere is quiet there's no noise and my mind is also very very calm uh, i've not started thinking about what to eat and what to do and what not to do all right so the early hours of the morning for me is the best time i mean the bible recorded that jesus rose up uh, while it was yet very early and he went to a secluded place to pray so early hours of the morning is the best but that is not to say that it must be early hour of the morning for example when i was single i used to wake up as early as 4 a.m to have my quiet time right 4 a.m 4 30 a.m i'm awake to have my quiet time but by the time i got married and had my <laughs> i had my first child it changed right especially during the early nursing time okay it's difficult it became very difficult for me to meet up with waking up by 4 a.m because sometimes after all the struggles with the baby at night not having enough sleep so i find it challenging to wake up at 4 a.m every day for my quiet time so that period i struggled when i had my first child i struggled with my quiet time in fact there was i think it was a month that i practically didn't have my quiet time at all i'll just stand up just spray and move and of course my life was uh, i don't know how to explain it but it was not funny it wasn't okay i knew that something was just off i was no longer comfortable they were so many things went wrong and i knew it was because my relationship with god was i wasn't having that intimacy you know that intimate time with god i i felt quite drawn away from him until i got to understand that it mustn't be 4 a.m right you just have to find a time that is quiet a time that you have no distraction a time that you can sit and actually have this one-on-one -on -one time with god and when i found that out everything changed for me and i picked up again you know god is merciful and he loves us so much so he is very patient with us and he's ready to show us uh what we need to do to pick up in our work with him and he did that for me now by the time i had my second child i had this understanding already so right now as i'm talking to you i don't have my quiet time for a.m anymore because i'm not able to meet up with that time even though i prefer early hours of the morning before i start any other thing now what i do is that when i wake up early in the morning i pray of course prayer is still the first thing for me in the morning i pray and after i pray i just go up to prep for uh, my son for school you know uh immediately they are done and he goes to school as when it's off the house is empty it's just me and my little girl 
I she usually still sleeps in that in that hour of the morning. Then I'll settle down to do my quiet time. At that time, everywhere is quiet. Children are off to school. My husband has gone to work. Okay, I work from home, by the way. So <laughs> I have that opportunity. For those of you who don't work from home and have to go to work, Ellen, you still have to find a time that will work for you. Now, this is me sharing my experience so that you understand that you can still find a time out of your busy, uh, busy schedule, right? So after they are gone, I sit down to have my quiet time. So you find a time when there is no distraction, a time when you can separate yourself and actually have this one-on-one -on -one time with God, a time when you can calm your mind and have that peace and quiet, okay? Find that time and use it to have your quiet time with God. Again, preferably first thing in the morning before any other thing. Now, the next thing I do is, of course, have my quiet time. So during my quiet time, what I do is I pray. I start off with prayers. Sometimes I could start off with worship. Start off with worship, have a brief prayer, and then I sit down to study the word. I don't usually have a very long prayer, but sometimes there could be an interruption. And when I say interruption, I do not mean external interruption. I'm saying I could get moved to pray longer. Now, I just started praying, maybe just worshiping God. And then maybe this body comes up and I flow, right? And I pray more than I normally pray, but... The normal thing is that I don't pray long prayers. I just pray and thank God for the day, you know, and then sit down to study the word of God. Now, I study the word of God. You could pick a verse. You could pick a chapter. Currently, what I do is a verse during my quiet time. A verse. <laughs> I just take a verse and I study it and I meditate on it. I meditate on it. And after meditating on it, as I'm studying and meditating, I am writing down the insights that I'm getting. I'm writing down the lessons that I'm learning and I'm writing down the applications. What am I going to do from what I have heard today? Remember that the primary way to hear from God is through the scriptures, right? So if you're struggling with hearing God, scripture is the primary way through which God speaks to each and every one of us. So make it, uh, you can include it in your routine to study the scripture every day, all right? To read, even if it's just a verse and not just reading, you study it, you meditate on it, all right? And then you pray on it and you pick out life applications as well. What is God talking to you? What is that thing that has jumped at you as you're studying and you apply it to your life? That's how you do. Now, recently I've also incorporated staying quiet to hear from god in my quiet time and that is a gem it's something you do not want to exclude from your quiet time please make sure that it is there you have to hear from god right just after you pray after you study and you've meditated right um right where you you could just close your eyes and stay quiet lord speak to me Allow the Lord to speak. And don't just close your eyes and keep quiet for just two seconds and then say, I didn't hear a loud voice, okay? You have to be calm, be calm and let the Lord speak to you. If you're able to stay long enough, beautiful, just try as much as possible to give time to staying quiet and let the Lord speak to you. Now, when God speaks to you, yes, he can speak to you in an, in a, in an audible voice if he chooses that way. And he can speak to you uh, by dropping ideas into in your heart, in your mind, right? And he can speak to you by speaking to your spirit. He can speak to you by giving you a vision or a trance. There are different ways through which God speaks to us. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Maybe it's not a promise, right? So allow time for God to speak to you. And by the time you're done uh, being calm, being quiet and listening, then you can just pray a brief prayer thanksgiving thanking the lord for all he has shown you and on and in your beautiful time with him right and then you commit your day to his hands and that's it so that is my own quiet time routine summary of what i just said is this i 
find a suitable time for my quiet time. I usually pray, not a very long prayer. And then I study a verse. I meditate on the verse. I write down insights that I get from meditating and studying. I write down applications, the things I'm going to apply. I actually I missed something. I also write down what I can teach, right? Yeah, because I am a speaker. I'm a coach and I'm a YouTuber. So I do write down what I can teach from what I have learned that day of course there are days when the holy spirit does not permit me to teach anything maybe that verse for that day it's for me and me <laughs> it needs me to deal with certain things and so that verse there might be nothing for me to teach from it but i write down and then like i said i meditate and then i stay quiet and listen for the lord to speak to me don't forget to let me know what you're going to be incorporated into your uh, incorporating into your quiet time from what I have shared today. If you found this video helpful, please like this video, comment below, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. Share with your friends for them to um, watch and be blessed as well. I will see you in my next video on this series. Until then. Keep walking with God. Make sure you are consistent with your daily quiet time with God. Jesus loves you and he desires that intimate relationship with you. So stop running away. It's actually a very beautiful experience. And I promise you, once you start, you'll be the one coming back to share testimony with me. God bless you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.